Do you want to make your own custom DJ drops using just your phone that sound like this? Everybody put your hands up. For absolutely free? Let's find out how. Custom DJ drops have always been very popular. It can give your DJ sets that personal feel. It can help with your branding when you put it inside your DJ sets or your DJ mixes online on SoundCloud or Mixcloud or when you're making exclusive content for your social media. In this tutorial, we're gonna go through the process of making our own DJ drop inside our phone, sending it over to our controller and using it in a live DJ set. And it's gonna sound amazing, so let's get stuck in. Okay guys, so here we are inside the App Store and you're gonna to wanna to download an app called BandLab. And it's available on Android as well. So it's totally free, so once you press open, you'll be met with this page. Now, we just click the arrow at the bottom and this is what you want. Ignore that. This is what you want, voice microphone. Now, everything I'm gonna show you, you can probably use your, um, or definitely use your uh, voice memos inside of your phone that you've already got. This app just has a lot of pre-built effects to make our recording sound, you know, extra nice, extra polished and professional. So go ahead and click voice mic and you're faced with this. It's a timeline similar to your voice memos inside your phone. And first thing I like to do is I'm going to go up here to the settings at the top, click that and we've shown a tempo. Now the reason this is good is Let's, we're going to record a drop for a kind of EDM, big room, house kind of tune. So let's go on the assumption that it's going to be at 128 BPM. Now the reason that's good is if we go down and go to count in, we can select two bars. Now that's going to give us an 8 beat intro at 128 beats per minute. So we can kind of time our drop, our recording. So let's go ahead and go back to our timeline. Now I'm gonna record in a simple, everybody put your hands up shout. You guys can be more creative. I'm no little John or Fatman Scoop or anything like that. Uh, but let's record that in now and see what we can do with it. Everybody put your hands up. There we go. Super basic. Let's record, let's uh, play that back. Everybody put your hands up. Look, super basic. Let me just check my recording, yeah. Super basic. Everybody put your hands up. There we go. Doesn't sound great and you're not gonna probably wanna play that in the club or anything like that. But the good thing is this comes with loads of pre-built effects. So if you look at the bottom here and press effects, these are all kind of custom built effects and there are so many you can choose from and they all sound really polished and really clean. So let's just choose one here, Echo Doubler. Click on Echo Doubler and now our timeline is at the top here. So let's just scroll to the beginning of our timeline, hit play. Everybody put your hands up. I mean, already that's sounding, you know, 150 times better than it was. Everybody put your hands up. And you can, you know, go ahead and, you know, choose all kinds of different effects. Everybody put your hands up. That one's just got a bit more of a reverb on it and there's a distortion and chorus and things like that. So let's go ahead and select this echo. And let's say, yep. Everybody put your hands up. We like that. Let's just keep that in there. Let's go and save this project. So go to this save button at the top. You're going to hit save. Let's delete untitled and put hands up. Hands up demo. Click save. Uh, click the tick and it's going to come up at the bottom. Revision save. Click view going to take us to where we are so this will be your profile and it's saved in here so you want to click on the three arrows at the top and click download and then you're going to want to save it on your phone wherever you save your files on your phone you can change the name of it hands up demo we want to keep it as that and click done and click save and that's saved in your phone now so now what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it over to record box or whatever you're using serato tractor prime and we're gonna see what this sounds like in a track in a dj set and we're also gonna add some different effects to it to make it sound even more professional and club sounding
So guys, here we are inside of Rekordbox. I've got the DD, DDJ800 here, and all I've done is transfer the recording from my phone into Rekordbox. Um, I've loaded it in on deck number one here. Let's see what it sounds like. Everybody put your hands up. There. So again, it's not sounding like overly crazy, but it's it's fine for what we need it for. So we recorded that at you know 128 BPM. So let's try and use this now in a track. So let's just drop a tune. Let's watch a jiggle on me. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. So there we go, not sounding too great, uh, not sounding too bad, um, but not sounding as polished as we could be. Let's just add a few more bits onto this. So I've got some onboard effects on this DDJ800. You'll have some effects inside record box or things like that. So I'm just gonna go to pitch effects here and go and turn the pitch effects on 25% and see what that sounds like. Everybody put your heads up. I mean, now we're talking, right? Sounding like some kind of Skrillex tune. Everybody put your hands up. Or kind of like every EDM tune, really. So that's sounding great. And maybe let's add a bit of dub effect on that. Everybody put your hands up. Now we're talking. I'm just going to take the low off there because it's a bit harsh. And now we're really talking. So let's just go back to the beginning of this track. Me. I think that sounds pretty cool. Then if you want to re-record that back in with these extra effects on, with the pitch on, with the dub echo on, just go ahead and hit record. It'll save into your uh, playlist, into your collection, sorry. And then just drag it into a sample bank, into an empty sample bank. So just open up your sampler. And yeah, you can drag it into a sample bank. This is the original sound, but you get the idea. Everybody put your hands up. So that's the original one we've made, but you can go ahead and re-record the newer version in. Everybody put your hands up. And then you'll have it every time, you know, you want to play a DJ set. It will be already in your sample banks and you can go ahead and make multiple versions of that for your DJ sets to make it original. You're making these yourself so nobody else is going to be able to copy you. So this is going to make your DJ sets 100% unique, 100% original and make you stand out from the crowd. So I really hope that helped you guys out in some way and start you on your way to making your DJ set a bit more personal and giving you that unique edge on other DJs out there. Let me know if you've made your custom drops before, how you do it. There's many apps out there. You can change your voice and there's different voice shapers and things like that. So let us know in the comments how you make your own drops. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.